አገልግሎት የዘመን መንገዶችን እንድትነግረን በዚያ አጋጣሚ ኢትዮጵያ ያሉ አገልጋዮች ከዚህ ብዙ ትምርት ስለሚማሩ ያገልግሎት ጅማሪህን ብትነግረን ሁለተኛ ከቲቪ ጆሹዋ ጋር ስታገለግል የነበረውን ያገልግሎት መንገዶችን ሶስተኛ ደግሞ ኤሎሂም የሚለው ሚኒስትሪ ከተቋቋመ በኋላ ያለፍክባቸው ቻሌንጆችን ምክንያቱም ብዙ ኢትዮጵያ ላይ የጀመሩ የሚያቆሙ ረጅም መንገድ መሄድ ያቃታቸው አገልጋዮች አሉ ለነሱም ትምርት ይሆናልና ይሄንን ነገር ብትነግራን Thank you so much. Thank you so much sir, for the opportunity. What I really want to ask you is many 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 ministers in Ethiopia they can learn from this. They can learn from your experience. So what I want to ask you is your ministry journey, the challenges you faced, how you overcome them, all your ministry's journey and your relationship with your spiritual father. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That mm. ministers in Ethiopia could learn from that? ትንሽ የምጨመረው ነገር what i also want to add is ረጅም ዘመን በመገዛት ውስጥ አገልግሏል ለመንፈሳዊ አባተ you have ministered for so long in submission to your spiritual father ብዙ ሰዎች ለመንፈሳዊ አባታቸው መገዛት አይችሉም many ministers they do not know how to submit to their spiritual father አንተ ግን ለረጅም ቆይታ but for longest you have submitted ከአባተ ከመንፈሳዊ አባተ ጋር ረጅም ጊዜ ቆይታ you have spent the longest with your spiritual father ሁሉ ግዜ እንደምለው አይ አስ አይ ዩዙሊ ሴይ ፕሮፌት ቲቪ ጆሹዋን ብናጣው ኢቭን ኢፍ ፕሮፌት ዲርሊ ቢሎቭድ ፕሮፌት ቲቪ ጆሹዋ ኢዝ ኖት ዊዝ አስ ራይት ናው ከዋይዝ ማን ከበቁት መካከል ዩ አር ዩ አር ዋን ዋን ኦፍ ዘ ቤስት ዋይዝ ማን ጋር አፍ ካምስታቹ መካከል ዩ አር አውት ኦፍ ዘ ፋይቭ ዋይዝ ማንስ አንተ የሱን ራይት አስቀጥላለህ ብዬ አመናለሁ አይ ቢሊቭ ዩ ዊል ኮንቲኒው ዘ ሚኒስትሪ ዳት ሂ ስታርት ስለዚህ የአገልግሎት መንገዶችን በታሳየ so can you tell us about your ministry journey how how you came to ministry kate tanasta and did the madrasa you started and how how you progressed and with the grace of god how you achieve, how you have reached this level that many minister could learn from this sir before i go deep into the relationship between a master bagitana and a servant betegelg begit begitana bebaria ma a mentor በሚመንቶ ኤልመንቲ በሰልጣኝ መካከለ ያለውን ነገር በመመር አንድ ስቱዴንት እና በተማሪ መካከለ አሁን ቱ ኮሬክት ዎን ኢምፕሬሽን አንድ ነገር ማረን ፈልጋለሁ ሲ ዩ ሲ አ ዋይዝ ማን ዳንኤል ኢዝ ቤስት ዋይዝ ማን አውት ኦፍ ፋይቭ አ ዋይዝ ማኖች ምርጡ አይ እሱን ፋይቭ ኦፍ ፎርስ አ ምስቶች አምስታችንም ጠንካሮች ዮስ ጠንካሮች አንድ ዌ አር ጊቪንግ እ the same cup to drink of the anointing of Jesus Christ now it is maintenance that is left to us <coughs> i will maintain the fire yannen asat it means the heat yannen 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 tabqallo so i can't talk of mine selezi ini laura michlo selarasa the rest four can speak for themselves yes that's by the way yannen no marrum now talking about the relationship between i and my late mentor banina ba mentori makakkel yallon hibrat lemanager with your respect ba hulum akbarot prophet tv joshua prophet tv joshua well um I would be here to tell you how long how many years I spent with him. Many hal ezihen hal gize qoyo biyel alal chil. Because we don't boast in what we do for God. Sinatum legziaber bemnadergo neger ankor. Rather we boast in what God is doing for us. Legziaber lenya baderego neger. It is quite obvious. Gilsa no. I have spent a long time with him. Rejim gize kesu gar asal. But I wouldn't be precise. Gin bezihen ne hal biyel bemnem korabet. Because all glory belongs to God. Sinatum hulum kiber legziaber. Now let me start this way. Bezi indi biyel jam. The relationship between me and my late mentor prophet TB Joshua then yani benina be prophet TB Joshua be mentor makale neberen gin could be likened to that of Elisha and Elijah look Elias na Elsa ni messi messala why do i say Elisha and Elijah let me know Elias na Elsa biye me messalo is because the lifestyle of Elijah 
was complete dedication to God. And the lifestyle of Elisha was complete dedication to his master. He never knew God. He only saw the strength of God in Elijah. He was moved to believe if I could submit totally to Elijah, I could be linked to the same power, strength, character, humility in my master, Elijah. That was the belief of Elisha. And at the end of the day, he did receive, I wouldn't say power, I wouldn't say greater anointing, so that you don't look as if there is pride and arrogance in this regard. But permit me to use the word. Elisha, after total submission, in sincerity, and humility of heart to Elijah, he received enough mercy to move on even after his master was transformed. So coming to my case, the prophet T.B. Joshua, the first day I met him, I was moved by his humility, respect for human beings, and to, to trust in God. Though at my little age, I had a desire for God, but I never met anyone who could point me to God in such a magnitude as my late prophet, mentor, prophet T.B. Joshua, did to me. I met him the first day without knowing me. He waved at me right in the crowd. I was moved. Among everyone in the church, what could make this man to wave at me? Even at the level of his oppression. The following day, <clears throat> I told my parents that the first time in my life I could see a man of God do this to you as young as I am and bend down this way. This man is a true man of God. Let me try and move close to him. So I decided to come the following Sunday. After the service, I waited behind. When they asked who would like to be the prophet, irrespective of who you are, he would like to see you. I came forward. And after two days, I was privileged to sit one-on-one -on -one with him right in the office. Really, he saw me entering. Wow. He stood up and welcomed me. Oh, you're welcome. How are you? Uh, what's your name? I said, I'm Daniel. Daniel said, wow. wow. Where, where are you from? I'm from Abia State. Abia State, Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, sit down. I sat down. I sat down. She has rolled down my cheeks. As high as it was, so great man of God, who accord me such a respect, a small boy, wow, I was moved. He sat me down. So what are you doing? I said, wow, I just concluded my studies. So what do you want to do next? So I, I had in mind to be a mechanical engineer. But I love your job. I told him, you love my job? I said, yes. Okay, he gave me a pass and told one of his sisters to usher me in the following day. When I came in, I was seated. And then 
There used to be service every week, every day, week to week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No day was left out. Out of the seven days I make a week without a service. I sat down. I was watching him stretching forth his hand, casting out demons, healing people, delivering people. I was moved. Because I never for once in my life seen such a man of God who would not touch you, but stretch forth his hand, and instantly he will be free. I made up my mind to be under him. I started working under him, studying his lifestyle, in humility and sincerity of heart. He would take us to prayer mountain, teach the word of God. One thing he made us to understand, never you on the right, on the mind, any human being, no matter how small the person is. You could neglect an angel by neglecting human beings. Because angels can come in form of a destitute, a cripple, an orphan, a daily person, a widow, less privileged. Be careful the way you approach human beings. Because God is unpredictable. I always had a jota where I always noted word to word his utterances. Because that personal conviction I had in me made me to believe that this man could lead me to somewhere where God is. So we started receiving lectures, lectures upon lectures, sleepless nights, and every day. He's praying, he goes on his knees for hours. The legs will be, the knees will be bleeding. I'll be asking myself, you have the power to heal? You are very famous. At least at your level, you are comfortable. What test are you looking for? This man, I could make you spend four hours on your knees praying. One day, he took us to the mountain. We're about six or seven of us. So all of you join me at the prayer mountain. We're going to pray on a beach sand on a sunny day. I thought this was a joke. That was my first time of experiencing torture on my knees. When I say torture, I was crying, but nobody could help me. But man of God was smiling while he was on his knees. Say later you know the value of what you are doing. You are on our knees on a very sunny day. You know hot sun for hours. While he was in front, the rest wise men, then ordinary men. Ordinary men. <laughs> I'm talking about Racine, Christopher, John Chi, Harry, and host of other disciples. We're on their knees. I, for one, I decided to change my prayer points when I was tired. From Lord, have mercy, bless us, bless me, forgive me my sins. That was the prayer point you give to us. Forgive me my sins, accept me into your covenant room and make me a vessel unto honor. That was the prayer point you give to us. But I changed it because I was tired. I said, Lord, tell this man to start. <laughs> I'm tired. That's from the front there. He turned and looked at me. He said, Daniel, what are you saying you had? I was marveled. How did this man know what I was meditating? He sir, I said, I will say, God should make you stand. <laughs> he said, no. If you change your prayer points, you lose the promise of God. Jesus Christ paid the price to bring salvation to you. 
and I'm paying the price to make you responsible and you want to lose the grace I prostrated I said master I'm sorry instantly I changed my prayer points to God forgive me for being a rebellious child that was all after then I went back home for three days I could not kneel down I could not bend down because of blisters I saw on my knees but because the prophet was used to it for years his leg was like stone the knee if you tap it you hear a sound as if you are knocking at the door but after two years, I became used to it. Now, by the grace of God, I can go on my knees for hours without any pain. Can you see the price? Prophet T.B. Joshua paid to bring someone like me up. As God will have it, I think precisely in 2010, we're all in the common, we call it common, I mean, um, dormitory, where all the men were living. All of a sudden, I had a call. The prophet said, I want to go to mountain with Rasin, Christopher, and John Chi. I will come back. Please take care of my mountain because then I was in a department called maintenance department because every time the prophet is traveling I don't know why he loves me so much he always tells me be at home I'm coming back and I was okay before I knew it after three days my three brothers came back and they were introduced in the church as wise men wow they could stretch hand, prophesy, deliver people, as the prophet does. I was made to be moved, to become a servant on that three of them. How do I mean? I want to make sure I follow one person to assist because I was happy. Something was telling me, very soon, you will join these three people. We followed them for the first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday, to assist, to hold those they were praying for, delivering and healing. After three Sundays, I never knew the prophet was monitoring me to know if I was envious or jealous of these three people, Christopher, John Chi, and Rasin. But I was not. I was happy because I never saw that it could be possible for somebody to command or anoint another person to do what he's doing. I only read it in the Bible. The time of Jesus Christ, the time of uh, Elijah and Elisha. After three Sundays, he told me he would want to take me to the mountain to check the maintenance work we supervised. After taking me to some rooms, okay, this chair is not supposed to be here, take it there. This door is supposed to be positioned. Okay, 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 I'll, be, I'll come back and meet you. Hey, I want you and Harry to wait for me in the prayer room. Look at the language. Wait for me in the prayer room. I will come back and pick you. That was all. We spent four days. After first day, he never came. Second day, he never came. Third day, he never came. Fourth day, he appeared. The next thing he said was, Apostles, Apostles, wise men. I looked at myself, wise man, let's go. I want you to follow me and bless my church. He took us straight into the pool. Wow. You know the mountain, the pool, very dirty pool. He was naked. We were naked. He did baptism. Wow. After that, I felt something. I couldn't, I couldn't express with my words. Entering me at that moment. We went to the church. After praying with him in the church, we went to the prayer room in the church. We slept off. Right in my revelation, I saw the Bible. Came. Opened up. And hit my chest. I couldn't see the Bible anymore. I realized 
that my two legs were no longer touching the ground. I thought it was a joke. When we came up this Monday, this Sunday, he said we should dress up. And he's going to introduce us to the world alongside with our three brothers as five wise men. That was how we were introduced as five wise men. And he made us to understand that the same cup where he drank from, God has given it to us. And he said, I know every one of you have an experience. Everyone told their experiences. And I told my how a Bible in time my heart. And every other person. I will not be able to tell you the experience of others. I wouldn't speak for them. But I knew somebody talked about satellite dish. Somebody talked about sword. Somebody talked about staff of Moses. And so of other things. But my, it was a Bible. Entered my heart. That was all. And today, here I am. As one of the five wise men. To God be the glory. And I want to use the opportunity to tell Ethiopians, are you a servant? Are you sure you're a good servant? You know your master and you're very sure he's from God? Please, be sincere. Be humble. Be sincere. Be humble. You'll be surprised that your master, if he's connected to God, he will be moved to give you a blessing that will touch, change your life, your generation, and the entire world. I'm a living testimony to that. God bless you. Thank you. I was marveled. I was marveled. I, I know all, all Ethiopians are being marveled with us with the testimony. I know about my spiritual sons are also very much excited to see to, to hear this testimony. Uh, the, everyone in Ethiopia is expected for this interview, sir. What the amazing thing is, Elohim I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Can you tell us? Also, I'm quieting. You say I have no words that the, the feeling I'm, exper I'm experiencing right now. Elohim, you see. Can you tell us also about Elohim, sir? Well, I come about Elohim? Yes. Well, I let me start this way. By the special grace of God, I was released by my master, Prophet TV Joshua, in the year 2020, precisely in March 2020. And immediately I was released. I proceeded to the prayer mountain. Because I knew to get Jesus is not easy. Except you are willing to submit in a place like the wilderness. Before I go further, decision to stay with a master should not be influenced by circumstances or situation surrounding your birth as a servant or which you cannot control. It must be based on total submission willingly from the heart not by compulsion or by any external influence, total submission to God from your heart. I was with TB Joshua and I would never moved by the progress of anyone. I never jealous anyone. I never envied anyone. My focus was to allow the will of God to be done in my life as I follow this man, Prophet TB Joshua. 
So I followed him to the end. And I promised myself, and I promised God, I will never, for any sacrifice, any situation, leave him except he says, you are free to go. I waited. I waited patiently. In all odds, in all circumstances that were beyond my control, I still remained until he released me. So therefore, as a servant, don't let go until God releases you. God's time is the best. So when it was time for me to go and commence my own ministry, it was revealed to me. I was convinced about it and I'm pretty sure it was released to my mentor as well. He called me with joy. He said, Daniel, it is time to proceed. You will never be under me forever. I have given you what God has asked me to give you. It's left to you to maintain it. I wish you the best. But I will remain your master anytime, any day. So thank you. So as you're living now, just drop your things in your parents' house, proceed to the prayer mountain, and ask God for the next line of action. You're no longer under me. You have been connected direct. Ask God to give you the next line of action. So thank you, sir. I proceeded to the prayer mountain. I was marveled. A prayer that should have taken me 21 days fasting and prayer. 41 days fasting and prayer. I received revelation about my ministry, the way forward, the name of the ministry, the name of my TV station, and how to go forward in the ministry within a space of four days. But because I promised God that I would spend seven days I decided to stay for seven days. I'm not supposed to tell you how long. I'm only saying this to let you know God can answer your prayer for a day. Meanwhile, He can also answer the prayer of someone else for 20 days, 21 days, 40 days. It's not how long you spend in the mountain that could woo God to give you what you want. But mercy can speak for you in a day. Grace can speak for you in a second. You'll be surprised that what has taken people years to get, God can give you. It's twinkle of an eye. Many ask, many pray, but not all have mercy from God. I'm telling you, if you go to prayer mountain, many have spent 40 days there, 50 days there, 100 days there, asking for what God has given to you within a space of few days. You have to be very appreciative, very humble with it. Don't be proud. Because if you were to be by works of righteousness, you don't deserve it. I spent only four days and the name of the ministry, the name of the TV station was given to me clearly and I wrote it down. A vision from God of 10 years you can spend 30 minutes to receive that vision. You just wake up, you narrate a story of 10 years. Just within a space of 30 minutes, you slept. I slept for 30 minutes and I was taken to a journey of three days. I'm not permitted to say others. For now, I can only tell you, I had the name, the everlasting light of hope international ministry. I saw it in the cloud and I saw minister in brackets wise man Daniel. Before then, in Revelation, I saw a file of ministers of God were on white 
I was the third person. The first person was giving his ministry. The second person was giving his ministry. When I got before that image, I could not describe. You can't look at the face. You can't withhold the presence. He just ask you. Look there. That is your ministry. And you go. And as I woke up, I picked the pen. I drew the nature of the pulpit. I drew, I wrote the name of the ministry. And I was told, the name of your ministry is the name of God. The Elohim. And if you look at it, everlasting, the first letter there is E. Light, the first letter there is L. Of, the first letter there is O. Hope, the first letter there is H. International, the first letter there is I. Ministry, the first letter there is M. What does it spell? Elohim. That is it. I'm a second and little bit Xavier. So, thank you very much, dear, dear sir. Uh, but it will be a banum zure on a chu and in now is mandan in a honey with the melacatu. All of you who are watching this streaming, uh, and in a girl with Dallo, I would like to say this the metazas in Nava Magazatu is obedience and in submission. Uh, yet he Xavier so zilam of Kadderswan. This great man of God have reached this level, but a layman for sale, Joche, special, especially spiritual children. In this, in this, I would, I would like to take this opportunity. Like I tell you, I like, I, I, like I usually tell you. And I'll say one more time. Submission and obedience have a great honor in it. Wise man Daniel. Wise man Daniel. Sinagari na baro. He has been he has been telling us his experience. He has, he, he has been giving all the glory to God. He was, he was saying his master, he was, he was admiring his master in every state. He, he, he was always respectful to his master. You should have so much respect for your mentors. The, the key ingredient for, the, for this man of God to reach this level, even if after he reached this level, uh, he, was, he was with him until his mentor blessed him. Uh, he waited. You can learn a great, a great lesson from this. I have, I have so much respect and I have learned so much from your life experience. Okay. Uh, and next, following uh, that, and uh, uh, what I want to ask you, is, uh, uh, God willing, if it is the will of God in the program that we are going to have in in, in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, we are going to have a crusade in Addis Ababa Stadium. Uh, 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 the, the, the program is going to consist, you are going to minister for women, children, for the youth, for the businessmen. Uh, one of the key things of your ministry. You care about the youth. And also in our, in our ministry also. And we have also we have also a program called Minister Ministers for Christ. And what that the Christos use for Christ? They we have a program called Use for Christ. Basu program is the same. Benya be church program. In his ministry, they they have a program called Use Ministry. Use Ministry. Use Ministry for Christ. And what that the Christos is the same. One church. One Use Ministers for Christ. They have a, they have a program in their church. One Use Ministers for Christ. They have a program there. Uh, we have also a similar program like that also, sir. Uh, so uh, that I would like to ask, sir, what is your expectation in the program that we, we, will, we will have in Addis Ababa? 
እኔ በዚህ ፕሮግራም ላይ ኢን ዚስ ፕሮግራም ሚ በጣም ብዙ ሰዎች እንደሚፈወሱ አይ ቢሊቭ ዳት ሜኒ ፒፕል አር ጎይንግ ቱ ጌት ሂል ካጋንን ተስራት ነፃ እንደሚወጡ ወደ ጌታ ብዙ ሰዎች እንደሚጨመሩ ባክ ያደረጉ ሰዎች እንደገና ወደ እግዚአብሔር መንግስት እንደሚጨመሩ ከሱስና ካላስፈላጊ ነገር ነፃ እንደሚሆኑ አይ ቢሊቭ ሜኒ አር ጎይንግ ቱ ቢ ዴሊቨርድ ፍሮም ኤኒ ካይንድ ኦፍ ኦፕሬሽን ኢትዮጵያ ላይ የተነገረ 2014 ላይ የሚጀምር ሪቫይቫል አለ and every prophecy the every word of prophecy that I, that has been spoken in Ethiopia in this new year uh kager ust mihon kawuch ager afrikawyan ihonu awropawyan amerikawyan ke sabatum hager yallu tililq agelgewch bezi ahon bejemerno be Ethiopia ba Addis Ahmed jemro Ethiopia la yemin nessa tilq revival indalle inagerallu a lot of prophecies from different men of men of god have been spoken about Ethiopia from if you are from africa from america from different they have been saying a lot there is going to be a revival in in ethiopia selezi anta yetoded ko egziaber so kezi program min titabqalle so so sa what is your expectation from the program that we are going to have in addis ababa when you when you say what is uh, my expectation metababik isitlu ah well I would rather put it this way. You have seen what God can do. God always wants to go ahead of us. When you when you when you believe he is a step ahead of you. He will astonish you. In your life. And in your calling. So what I would rather say is this. The will of God will be done as it was in the lives of the apostles of old. The works of the apostles will be accomplished beyond our expectation. Yeah. በጣም አመሰግናለሁ ሌላው ያው ይሄንን የምንልበት ምክንያታችን The reason why we are saying this is እግዚአብሔር ባንተ ብዙ ስራ ሲሰራ ስለአየን we have we are a witness we have seen so much what god have been doing in your ministry sir ምድራችንም ላይ ትልቅ የተጀመረ ስራ አለ and there is a great the plan of god in our land also yetesera yalle neger alle it is a work in progress by god sidemer min lifetter endemichil lenya kemegemet kaamru bala yihon neger it is beyond our comprehension what god is going to do with the anointing you have when you come to our land sir that's why we that's why that's why we say that uh, yeah of course it's a good question but yak in all I have no doubt in my heart that God Almighty who divided the Red Sea just his staff in the hand of Moses and the Israelites crossed the Red Sea on dry ground. His name is Elohim and he's here. The God who rescued Daniel from the lion's den showed the mouth of the lion I made a wild lion to become a friend to Daniel. Is he the same? Yesterday, today, and forever. He said to him, and he said, the same God who turned blazing furnace to ice cold when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were dropped there is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His name is Elohim. He's here. And he's there in Ethiopia. Let's leave it for him. ስገን praise god ሌላው በአቀባበል በሚኖር ፕሮግራም ላይ in the program that we are going to have in in Addis Ababa በ October መጨረሻ በሚመጣው ሳይሆን and no in the in the meeting that we are going to not in the October በዛ በትልቁ ለ February ብለን ለምናስበው the the program that we are planning God willing on February ከመንግስት አካላት ጀምሮ we are organizing things from government officials የተለያዩ አብያተ ክርስቲያናት መሪዎች all Ethiopian evangelical council የፖሊስ ማርሽ ባንድ and also with the police force ትልቅ አቀባበል ያይኖራል we are going to have a big program with a big reception kata kamitgababet kan jemro from the day you, you from the day you land in our land 
Ska man ta för bättre hotell? Everything, everything, everything from the airport. From the airport to the hotel. To the hotel. From the hotel to the stadium. From the hotel to the stadium. From the stadium to the hotel. From the every everything, everything. Everything you move around, every place you move around. Everything is going to be arranged. Everything is going to be arranged. The reason why we are doing that. The reason why we are doing that. Antenum. It it is to respect. To respect your, to respect in respect of you and in the respect of your spiritual father. Abren yete kabel na chusel hona. We are honoring both of you, sir. Mkiniyatum antaust sunen nalla. Because we see him in you. Ye banta must ye seraya lo saga. And the grace that is working in your life. Sulay katagallata baatif yonak adiman dana sahau baelsan baelias na baelsa makakel. Yallo yemen fas makababen sila huna. It is like the relation, the relationship between you and your mentor, as you stated earlier, is like the mentor, the fellowship between Elijah and Elisha. Hul gize ka wise manu shi makakel anten min nagar bet makniat. There is the 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 reason the reason why we say amongst wise men. The reason why we just say amongst wise men. It's 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 not for another reason. We say wise man Daniel. Antenasu ya la chu karabita. The closeness you you have with your with your master. Huletenga ba kom ke ba chu madra kuchulu. Even in every in every opportunity you have in every stage you have. Sela su sa tenaga. You you always recognize your you you can you recognize your master. Sela matward. You you don't go from you don't go from the down the stage without. Without recognizing your master. And one one once upon a time I saw one of your videos. I was touched. Uh, I was touched. The, the, the food I eat, the place I went, every everything I do in my life. Everything happened in my life. I, I, re, I saw a video giving uh, giving adoration, re, recognizing the, your the mentor, the, uh, your mentor. Sir. The reason why we are doing that, it is two of you in one, sir. Nah. <laughs> Well, um, thank you very much for honoring Jesus first, honoring uh, Blessed Memory Prophet TV Joshua, and before you can talk about his followers, which by grace I'm one of them, and I still remain loyal. Even though he's no longer in existence as a master, in the physical, but the spirit of apostles never dies. It's the same yesterday, today and forever. It only changes location from the visible to the invisible, the body. But the spirit is intact from generation to generation. So I thank God that in the history of mankind, there is somebody called Prophet T.B. Joshua. And also in the history of mankind, there are people called wise men. And it's left to us to maintain what he has given to us. And I know whatever honor, respect, you may anchor on that day of the event as God wills. It's not to me, but to God and his mighty servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yeah, Prophet T.B. Joshua has any sense of the 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 heard with the the day we heard the news. We we were talking at that at that time. We were broken. For two consecutive weeks, we could not even hold the proper service in our church. We have cried so much. He didn't only show you a direction. All around the world. Whenever I remember his, wherever wherever I remember his, I always I always feel sad that sadness in my heart. Because the reason we the reason we have now we can see men of God like you. 
እሱ በተራመደ ወርምጃ በመሄዳችሁ is cause it is because you follow his foot his footsteps ስለዚህ ብዙ ብናገር ያው ትንሽ ከባድ ነውና i i don't want to talk much about that <laughs> yes i think you are right uh man proposes but god disposes so as saban exaber ifetsa as flesh demands for siga endemi felgo to see every good thing always but good thing doesn't last as we human being want it because the plan of god is not the plan of man if he had lived longer and something has happened i would feel Oh. He has accomplished his mission. He started the mission. And he finished the mission. It was a glorious exit. Of, of course what my human flesh as I wanted as a human being would have been that he should live longer and enjoy the fruit of his labor. But the lifestyle of a prophet ordained by God is programmed right from the birth to the growth and to the great commission to the exit in God's hand. And when it is time, you can't add a day to it. Not even a second. And the mystery behind their exit is that when it is time, they will speak to you in parable. They can never tell you when. But after the exit, say, oh, no wonder. This is what they meant. That was the case of T.B. Joshua, my mentor. We thank God. Where he is, is where you and I wants to be. Our prayer is that those of us that are still living, God should give us the grace to finish in the Great Commission. Many started in the Great Commission, they ended with Satan. A good word King Saul, he began with God and ended with Satan. But our prayer is to start with God and finish with God. Yes.